Now joining me in the studio is Nathaniel Peet, the Managing Director of Safety Box, which works with schools and youth groups to educate and protect young people, and Sean Bailey, a community worker and ambassador for David Cameron's Big Society. Gentlemen, thank you both very much indeed. You just listened to Boris Johnson. Robust legal tools, but also jobs and education. Has the Mayor got it about right? Yeah, I'd say education is a key thing here. Um, I've always said the greatest impact you can have on a young person is through the mind. And he, he said that mindset. Uh, the most dangerous thing on the street isn't the knife. It's not the gun. It is the mind. And so penetrating through the mind at an early age is the best way. And so, uh, you know, the, the talks have got to be taking place with a grassroots level, with grassroots organisation. The scale is another thing, though. David Cameron this morning was talking about targeting the 120,000 most troubled families. Then we won't have this kind of problem again. Doable? It has to be doable. We're a society, if we don't get it done, we'll have a re replication of these problems year in, year out. The big thing is about work. So once you've adjusted the mindset, once you've benefited from some of the things we already have in place, we need work to strengthen a community. The rise from poverty takes time, a long time, and it needs consistent work. And we need to put the mindset in that you can work and then provide people with the opportunity to work. But we mustn't fall into the, into the hole, into the false dawn of, oh, we can provide you with a future. People must be encouraged to pursue their own future. But the other thing that, that strikes me is you've got London Bobbies now where they arrest people and that, that person will say, what are you going to do with your Murdoch money? Mm -hmm. You've got, as Mr Miliband referred to, a lack of respect for MPs who fiddled their expenses, yeah. a lack of respect for the bankers who were after their bonuses and what have you. Elites and leadership are a real problem here. Indeed, I mean, this is where integrity comes into it. You have to have integrity and good leadership from the top uh, down, and then you've got to have the solutions and the results coming from bottom up. So we've got, we've got to have that communication from top down to bottom. There needs to be that level of integrity that is in the leadership, and they need to have that dialogue with the grassroots organisations, with young people, find out what they actually need and what they want, find out what their concerns are, so that the problems can begin to be fixed within the society. I think, I think leadership needs to concentrate in the home. We have a legal system that's robbed parents. Mums and dads, parenting. It's absolutely the single greatest um, role model a child will ever have of their parents. Right. And if we don't take responsibility, that all bets are off. Nothing you do in society will matter. We've got to go back to the family unit, and we must have our legal system that gives parents that the right to have that authority and chases them if they don't. Okay. Currently we have a system that doesn't do that. Maximum 10 seconds each. Is there one piece of legislation these guys and gals should talk about, whether it's to do with parenting or what have you, that would help Nat? Well, they need to be thinking about how parents can deal with their parents, talking about discipline, morals within the family. Rights of the parent. Sean? Two things. We should change the legal age of responsibility so that a parent is always involved. If your child's in, in trouble, you should be in trouble as well. And we have the biggest child prison population, we should educate them when they're in jail. Sean and Nat, thank you both very much, Lee. That's Sean Bailey and Nathaniel Pete. Thank you. Thanks, Alistair.